Hello! I came out to Nautique and found my favorite MI rep page and she's giving me access to a townhome model that I think you'll be interested in so don't go away and please subscribe and like and ring that bell so that you get notified of any new videos which are coming out fast because there's so many new home communities and this one is one of the ones that I had spoken about in a video that I did a couple of weeks ago about a workforce housing that's what we're calling it these days so don't go away I'll be right back okay so let's go inside the Carmel I believe it's an interior unit that is 1702 square feet with three bedrooms two and a half baths and a two-car garage let's go check it out this Carmel interior unit is 1702 square feet as I mentioned it feels so spacious to the left is your stairway to the second floor. We're in a spacious kitchen here. Lots of room to move. Now this model, not quite completed. There's your pantry. Has upgraded with one of the packages that is not standard. And here are the packages. If you go with the standard, the base price remains the same. If you buy one of the models that has a, an upgrade package that will have um, quartz and wider gray cabinets, then the price point goes up a little bit. Lots of room in this townhome. We have a big storage closet here, of course, it's because it's under the stairway large common area room for dining and gathering we're not decorated yet here's your powder room and a pretty spacious laundry room for a town home and behind these double doors is a large closet pantry. And out this door is your patio. The interesting thing about these townhomes is that you have this connection to your garage through this lanai space. Oops, it's locked. It's a rear entry garage. That's what I'm trying to get to, folks. And then you have this open space out here as your patio. And I just love this concept. I'm upstairs and looking at the hallway that takes you to two secondary bedrooms with carpet. and a reach-in closet. Another secondary bedroom is around the corner. Also with a reach-in closet. You have a guest bath. Oh, the bath that's, whoops, sorry. Shared by these two bedrooms. Full bath with tub. And here's the owner suite. Now the biggest difference between this unit and the other interior unit and the exterior units is not only the price point, but the exterior units are, they include a den, a full den, a closed-in den, 
and a lot of people aren't needing that extra den. You have double sink vanity and a glass den step-in shower. You know, the uh, MI group has not started selling the single family homes um, along the water side. They are selling the single family homes that are along the roadside. We don't have a price point for those yet. That's still being determined. What we have to offer you in terms of fees and so forth, let's stick, let's stick to the townhomes for a moment. As I mentioned, they are rear load townhomes and they are interior units that are seem to be most popular because of the price point. And then we have the exterior units called the Destin. Now the Destin has that full um, den, as I mentioned, and the price point is a bit higher. So between the base price of a Bay Harbor, which is another interior unit, and this Carmel, which is an interior unit, it's a bit of a bump. We're starting uh, with the um, base price and adding the lot and the package, and we're ending up around just a little over 400 for these um, interior units. They are taking a wait list for these interior units because they, they are more popular than the Destin that has that full office. And the Destin price point uh, runs about 498. So we're looking at oh, November through January, those being available for sale. We're looking at, um, let me find the fees for you. Nautique at Waterside Homeowners Association is 585 quarterly, and that includes the common area maintenance and operations, a lakeside pool and cabana with a dog park and a playground. You have your own lot landscape and irrigation maintenance taken care of, and of course the exterior of the building and termite monitoring. We do have an annual stewardship district assessment that runs about $1,500 a year. In Lakewood Ranch, that assessment is what keeps the roads beautiful and the parks green and all of this green space that's required by builders to keep when they build in Lakewood Ranch. And not only do you have some amenities, for that quarterly fee of 585, but you have Waterside so close. That's your biggest amenity. So I'm gonna run over to see the model of the single family home. Paige has given me permission to run through. It's not completed, but we're, um, I think it's up at drywall and I really want to give you a, a preview so that you don't miss out because they're limited and certainly in the number of sales that they can make in a period of time. There's 58 single family homes and there's 164 town homes actively selling now. So give me a call and I'll connect you with Paige and we'll uh, find you the, the right spot near Waterside and Lakewood Ranch. And if it's one of these interior townhomes, you are going to be so pleased with that price point because it's gonna get you into a townhome for just over $400,000. I'll be right back. This is gonna be a quick walkthrough because it's a little boring when it's all white and there's no furniture in here. Some of these waterside single family homes have been sold and now they're focused on selling the 
roadside single family homes. This is the Bimini. Immediately walking in, you see a flex room to your right, two secondary bedrooms to your left with reach in closets, and a Jack and Jill bathroom, full bath. Back around into the kitchen area. This is where the island is gonna be. You have a pantry. And over here, the appliances, cabinets will be uh, positioned. And you have some cafe dining space here under this beautifully big window. And then right across from that is the owner's suite. The owner's suite's quite spacious. Two windows, a large bathroom. Looks like this will have a dual sink vanity and a large walk-in shower. Stepping back out into the common area, we're passing through the great room, which has lots of light coming in from all of these windows. And just to your right, before you get to the garage, is your lanai space. Now this doesn't look much like a lanai space at this point in time, but it, that's what it will be. And to your left is going to be the laundry room with a nice large window. So once again, just a quick preview because when they release these Bimini and Starbird models, they are gonna go fast. We're talking about price points that may or may not fit you, but I'm gonna give you a little more information here in the graphics. We're looking at a Bimini that with the base price of 490 and about $50,000 worth of options puts that price point at 539.6 and the price point for the starboard will be much the same it's almost the same square footage just the layout's a little bit different so around mid fives at this point in time for the road uh, side single family homes and you're in. That's about all I can show you today about Nautique at Waterside. And I tell you what, Waterside is so close, you can see it across the lake here. And that's gonna be a great amenity to have in addition to what Nautique is going to offer. I mentioned those earlier when we were looking at the townhomes. So this video is a little different than normal but I just had to get out this information to you as soon as possible because these are gonna sell as quickly as one of the other builders down the way that has been so busy. And as soon as the pricing comes out for these single family homes, I'll let you know, give me a call, drop me a line, and don't forget to subscribe, please. And ring that bell so you know when there's another video up. Until the next time, Bye-bye.